comparing the rate of development of cars and computers is a really stupid idea, so let's give it a try. Let's take a 1982 Apple II Plus and a 1982 four-cylinder Ford Mustang, and then let's take a 2020 iMac and a 2020 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. We'll compare the computer's CPU speed to the car's 0-60 acceleration, the computer's RAM memory to a car's MPG fuel economy, and the storage capacity of the computer to the car's horsepower. Now, for memory, the original Apple II Plus had 48 kilobytes of memory. A completely blank Word document, by the way, is about 22K. Today's iMac has 8 gigabytes of RAM for CPU speeds, and Apple II clocked in at 1 megahertz. A modern iMac is 2.3 gigahertz. For storage, the original Die by Dysentery Apple II had 143 kilobytes of floppy disk storage, and a modern iMac has 1 terabyte of hard disk storage. For cost, in 1982 an Apple II Plus would cost you about $1,700, about $4,500 a day with inflation. A base iMac today is about $1,100, which is approximately 3.9 times cheaper given inflation. A 1982 Ford Mustang and a 2020 Ford Mustang EcoBoost, the base model. MPG-wise, the old Mustang got 22 miles per gallon, the modern one gets 25. Zero to 60 time, the original four-cylinder Mustang would go from zero to 60 in 16.2 seconds, the modern EcoBoost can do it in 4.5. For horsepower, a 1982 Mustang had about 88 horsepower, a modern EcoBoost Mustang, 310 horsepower. And finally, price. If you were to purchase a Mustang in 1982, it would cost you about $7,218, or about $19,683 today. A 2020 Mustang EcoBoost base price starts at $26,670. So now that we have all that together, here's what cars would look like if they advanced at the rate of computers. Your Ford Mustang EcoBoost would get approximately 3,666,652 miles per gallon, go to 0 to 60 in .007 seconds, and have 660,764,192 horsepower, and would set you back $4,615. That's pretty amazing.